Good morning, folks. Observers know the drill, and if you're new here, you heard it yesterday. The Earth-facing solar quiet will bend to only a few things, one of them being the primary solar conjunction of Mercury and Venus. So how will the Sun respond? The incoming sunspot groups are beginning to get angry, and their eruptions are looking a bit helical. No narration needed for this part. The first northern directed eruption you saw occurred in the middle of the day, but the flash you saw in light blue came later. The first eruption allowed a bit of destabilization in the grouping and a C8 solar flare, nearly M-class, erupted early this morning and produced a very similar looking eruption. Luckily, neither of those blasts is heading our way and in fact, the CMEs themselves were far less impressive than the eruption looked within the corona. Barely any ejecta visible on SOHO just a bit heading left on the north there. Here's the solar flare chart and you can see that rise. With the planets coming together, these sunspots merit a serious look this week. Central grouping is currently the most complex and my eyes go to the mid-trailing portion where positive and negative umbras are ready to interact. Solar wind remains above average intensity, but the stream has somewhat stabilized, so Earth's shield is handling it well now. More impacts are possible this week, so geomagnetic activity may continue in the coming days, and the culprit would be that large coronal hole on the north. A lot of fast solar wind streams coming out. And it's also driving a rare location seismic uptick that continued over the last day, with the North Pole rocking a bit. It's also worth noting that the East Pacific Ridge can herald coming activity in Chile and Peru, so eyes open there. Today's top story is amazing. The interplanetary magnetic field that reaches out and touches the planets that streams out past Pluto has finally been confirmed to have the magnetic connection events at Saturn that have already been discovered for Jupiter, Mars, Earth, Venus, and Mercury. The flux rope there can be as big as the radius of Earth, and this connection really bolsters the importance and influence of those fields. Remember, those are the ones that trigger the earthquakes. Top weather story of the last day is actually at India, major low over the entire region of southern Asia, and even with the typhoon to the east, the flooding in parts of the subcontinent has been devastating as it has marooned over 200 villages. Website members, the Fly on the Wall podcast was posted yesterday under premium. We hit the solar shutdown, earth-facing quiet, magnetic reversal, climate change, earthquakes, underground crystals, and the geopolitical and cultural tension in the United States. We've got pressure and radar in the top viewer locations, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 3.45 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.